see. If you guys have any more questions, drop them down in the comment section below. <laughs> The Honda Odyssey has been in production since 1994. So if you're ready to feel old, that was 28 years ago. There are five trims available in EX, EXL, Sport, Touring, and Elite, which means the base LX trim has been discontinued and the new mid-level Sport trim has been introduced, which is what we are looking at today. This is in Sonic Gray Pearl, which happens to be one of four shades of gray available on the Honda Odyssey. It's powered by a 3.5 liter V6 engine paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission. It produces 280 horsepower, 262 pound feet of torque, it's front wheel drive. And you'll get up to 19 miles to the gallon in the city and 28 on the freeway, depending on your driving habits, depending about how many people you have sitting in there. The sport trim comes with some exclusive aesthetic upgrades that are all gloss black features. So a gloss black grill. Also side note, LED headlights are standard. And then coming around the side, you will have gloss black side mirrors with gloss black trim and you get 19 inch gloss black wheels. Round back there is some more sport trim features, obviously a sport badge and more glossy black details there. This does have a power programmable lift gate, so you can adjust its height depending on how short you are <laughs> or maybe how tall your ceilings are in your garage. It's really simple. You just adjust, pull it down to where you want it to be, and then you press and hold the button until it beeps twice. And then now the power lift gate will only lift to that point. So also really easy to just continue adjusting. Let's look even more inside. <laughs> Once opened up, there is a ton of space in this van. So many fun things here. So first, um, and probably like the least exciting, but still very cool, are these little door pockets on the inside just to keep stuff stored away and organized like smaller items. I'm also loving how deep this storage goes down in here. Now the reason why it's like that is because you can fold the third row entirely flat into this little pocket and it's so easy. You literally just pull this strap and then fold your seat, boom. Like it's just that easy. And then you have a ton of room. Like that was so easy. You can also just leave these seats folded flat as well. Another feature that I love is that power sliding rear doors are standard across all trims. And accessing the third row is quite simple. Now, third row leg room is limited, so I would reserve this for the shorter folks or the younger children. However, it's going to be a lot more leg room than what you might get in an SUV with a third row. I like that it has two cup holders on each side of the outboard seats. You also have vents on each side of the outboard seats. There is only one 12 volt power source here on the left side. And it's easy to get out. You have a little pulley strap right there and then you just push forward. Now the second row is the best part of this entire van and for a laundry list of reasons, starting with you can open and close your power doors really easily from the inside or just by simply pulling on your door handle there. You have nice, easy, accessible cup holders right here in the, within the door. I feel like most second row don't have any cup holders within the door unless it's like a sealed water bottle. Um, and then I'm loving that you have this extra little sunshade, retractable sunshade, just for some extra privacy or extra sun protection. You have two USB charging ports down there and you can also um, completely control the climate control system um, right up there. And then now the really, really fun part is how configurable this second row is. So you can remove this entire middle row if you would like, which also has three more cup holders back here. This is also helpful for whoever's sitting in the middle of the third row because they don't, otherwise would have to reach across somebody to get to their drink. 
And another little storage compartment here. So removing this middle seat is very easy. I am going to start by opening my door here. There is a lever at the bottom that you just pull to unlock and then you'll want to start by lifting it from the back. And this might take a little bit of finesse the first few times, but just to show you that even somebody my size can easily get it out. Now that that middle row is out, we can show you the magic slide. I really wish they called it something different, but all you do is pull on this lever here and then you can literally just slide your seat all the way to the center. So this allows for easier access into your third row or just being able to have a more configurable seat. Now, the other outboard seat also slides, so you can have this one be all the way back. You can leave it right there in the middle, locked in, have both seats squeezed together if you would like. You can also remove the second row entirely. All you do is fold this seat perfectly flat, pull up on this lever here, give it a little lift up. Now. I'm not going to show you how to get this out because we weighed it ourselves. It's about 70 pounds per seat. So please be careful. Do not lift with your back, lift with your legs. But once you get it all out, you have a ton of room back here. Now we're sitting in the driver's seat of the Odyssey Sport, which is going to come with black leather seating and red stitching, as well as a black leather wrapped steering wheel with more red stitching. This is a trim exclusive. You have a lot of places to put stuff, even up front. So you can really just like be a hoarder up in here, okay? You have all kinds of door pockets that have different size compartments for different things. I also love that your door handle here um, doesn't, it's not hollow, like it doesn't just fall straight through. You could totally put something there if you wanted. Um, you also have a perfect spot to stow your phone safely from sliding around right behind your cup holders. Then you have this concealable compartment down in here that's pretty deep as well as USB charging down in there. And then you have this whole part right here that has small, uh, like a lip to protect things from falling to either side. So this would be great for maybe a backpack or even better, your fast food. You could totally put your bag right there and then eat your fries and you have your drink and then you could just be driving. And that sounds like a good time to me. <laughs> Moving on up, there's a lot going on here. We have an eight inch infotainment system and below that is your tri-zone automatic climate control. So I can control all the way back to the third row. So loving that. Also, some people were mentioning um, in some reviews that they wish that those buttons were bigger. I don't really see how they could be. It's the easiest system to use, honestly. Like that's your fan speed, okay? That's how you control <laughs> your temperature. It's not difficult. Then below that is your gear shift. Now, this is also not new technology for automotive, but maybe um, if you're getting into a new car within the last like three to five years, this is not a very common gear shift situation. So currently we are in park. Then you just press down, we're in reverse. Hit the end, you're in neutral. Drive, boom, you're in drive, D for drive. And then when you don't wanna be in drive or reverse, you put it back in park and then you have an electronic parking brake right here to the left of the steering wheel. Then, this is also where you control your heated seats. There's three different levels there, only for the front row. You also have some driving modes. You got snow and eco mode for when you're trying to save some fuel. And then moving up, something that I love to mention that's an absolute necessity for me, I'm really easy to please here, a sunglasses container. I just love having somewhere to put my sunglasses. This one is really unique as well because it has this fisheye mirror feature right here, which is gonna help you see what's going on in the back seats. And then above that is you have a sunroof. Now let's wrap this up and talk about connectivity. So you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but there's also this really cool app called Cabin Control that you can download in your app store, it's free. And this will allow passengers to do really cool things like control the climate of where they're sitting. They can also 
add music to a playlist that is um, pulls from music that's downloaded on your phone. They can also send directions straight to your navigation. You also have Honda Link, and that's gonna allow you to check your fuel levels remotely, lock your doors, start your car, and you will get one year of that free with the purchase of your Odyssey. I am loving how highly configurable that second row is in the Odyssey. If you guys have any more questions, you can drop them in the comment section below. And a big shout out to Salinas Honda for hooking it up with today's van. Thanks.